Well, if Fenrir has a way into the city, and if you want points with Aveline, I would suggest going with the Thinreal. If you choose to be a smuggler, you don't necessarily have to get in another fight. You come over here, threaten Mr. Merchant Cavarell, or you don't really threaten, you can have Aveline threaten, and for 10 friendship points, you get his goods, and Ethenriel will get you into the city. But I don't want to go with Ethenriel. Let's check out Mirren. Mirren. And you must be Hawk. Nice. Ugh. Okay, maybe Your I should suck up a storm about you. He better not be blowing more smoke out his ass. I'd like to know more about you first. Right. Let me just adjust my Another camera. marcher like your uncle. The Red Iron is well known in these parts. We pick who we work for and keep our noses clean. But anyone screws with us, we mess them up. Makes sense. Makes sense. All I know is if we join the company, I'm going to start talking like that. Oh, that's a joy. Getting us into the city will take a lot of coin. <laughs> Did I mention the Red Iron gets paid pretty well? Not to mention your uncle said you were a mage. We're willing to pay for that. Does everyone know about us? You're not in the circle yet. Then probably not. <laughs> you stick with us. Not You'll be in safe the circle? For the year, at least. Well, thanks for that reassuring pat on the back. My uncle doesn't seem like the sort to hang out with mercenaries. He doesn't. Gamlin cheated one of my men at a wallop match. You turn out. Don't ask what the hell wallop is. If you ask me, it sounds like a mini game they weren't able to manage in. I'm ready to prove myself. Noble bastard named Friedrich is here in the gallows. Gave us bad info. Almost killed my men. Now he's hiding out here, waiting for a ship. He sees us coming, he'll run for sure. But he doesn't know you. Go kill him and his men. We'll make sure no one asks why. Huh. I like how in this game there's never really a question of morals of go kill this guy, go kill that guy. In fact, in Origins, you kill maybe like 600 people. In this game, the body count is astronomical. I mean, you're mostly killing people. I mean, sure, there's demons and darkspawn and varmints, like spiders and such, but mostly it's people. You kill lots and lots of people. Have you checked the courtyard again? He's still out there, but he's alone, and he's not making a move. I don't trust this. What will we do when the ship comes? Wait, who are you? I demand to know what you're doing here. Hi, I came to kill you. Fair question, really. To shut you up. Miran sent you. Fair question. Don't just stand there. Kill them! Yes. Choosing usually, or I guess you could choose different dialogue and maybe even get points with Aveline, but I'm going the rivalry route with her. Also, Mirren's kind of just a better guy. I mean, later in the game, you'll have to you'll meet him again. And he cares more about the sake of his men, really, than the money. He does talk rude, but he's an okay guy. If in real, she'll backstab you. And applause. Ooh, five sovereigns. Yeah, also, you get more money. Money, 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 money. I like money. Increase my strength. Just fight one point. 
Hmm. Fire. Strength. Willpower. Constitution. So different from in the origins and awakening you have a junk and stuff is automatically put into junk in origins awakening you had to put your own whatever you decided into junk but some items are automatically considered junk and you can destroy them or you can sell them for a small small price to put items that you don't want anymore into junk just press the Y button now remember what I said earlier, if you wanted to go down the friendship path with Aveline, you could have joined a thin reel, had her threaten the merchants over the and that would have gotten you, I think, 10 points. I got 5 rivalry points with her, so that put her about, like, in the middle. Dead and buried. Well, dead. Dirt. Dead. May the bloody vultures feast on his corpse and shit him into the ocean. <laughs> I'm telling you, I love this guy. <laughs> Welcome Great to influence the on my brother. Tell your uncle I'm making the arrangements now. Professional, but I keep feeling like the camera off. Any luck? Was there ever any doubt? I'll speak to Mirren and see when the bribes can be made. Wait here. I guess we did it. We're here to stay, at least for a while. No more running for our lives unless we win. If only Bethany were here with us. And Wesley. Well, we're off to a fantastic start. Let's see what else this city has in store. Hey, at least she's very positive. Thus began the champion's first year in Kirkwall. Word arrived from across the sea that the hero of Ferelden had defeated the Blight. She didn't do it alone. But Lothering was destroyed. Kirkwall is the champion's home now. The dark spawn completely tainted so the land. Settling our debts with the mercenaries. Oh, Lothering. This was a busy year in the city. That's when the Kunari landed. Kunari! Caught their ship and left hundreds of warriors stranded. Oh, I'm gonna have to talk about to the Kunari, aren't I? That's also when the trouble began with the mages. The Templars had become very powerful under Knight Commander Meredith. But most importantly, that's when I first met the champion. Mm, what should I talk about first? Okay, let's see if I can do this really fast while it's loading. Okay, the Kanari you might remember Sten. Remember he was gray skinned, silver haired? Well, that's not what the Kanari race looks like. The Kanari race are white skinned with horns or silver skins. But the Kanari aren't necessarily just a race, they're also a religion. Anyone can be considered Kanari as long as they follow the Kune. Did I get that in the loading time? Hey, I did! Wow, I'm pretty good at this. The Canari are conquerors. We'll be dealing with them later. I will admit, I do love the music in this game. <clears throat> Night Commander Meredith. <coughs> <clears throat> 
No. I'm Droste's tits, human. You know how many people want to hire onto this expedition? Look, we know you're going into the deep roads. You'll need to hire the best, and we're... No. You're too late. Already done. The money from this trip could fix everything. You need us. We fought Darkspawn. Look, Precious. I don't care Precious. if you the horns off and over with your bare hands. You make him understand. We're running from your bloody Templars. My brother has a point. It's on his head, but it's still valid. Oh, thanks for that. So, what about it, Margaret? We're just what you need. You're looking for a quick way out of the slums, right? You and every other Pharrell in this dump. Find another meal ticket. Well, back to waiting for someone to turn us in. You can relax. After all, the Templars dogging us are mine. Did I sound that bad? <laughs> Maker, I'm turning into Gamblin. Just give him a cigarette and one hand and a beer and he'll be just like my older brother. Maybe he can talk to Bartram. He knows some people. After last week, we need all the coin and influence we can get. That's weird. Catch more flies with honey. But Gamblin's bullshit could work too. Well, you did get us into the city, right? What else can we do? We're losing ground, and I don't fancy waking up in the gallows. you so certain we can help. You know nothing about us. Oh, on the contrary. You've made quite the name for yourself over the last year. Serving with the Red Iron is no mean feat, yet you not only served, you impressed. The name Hog is on many lips these days. Not bad for a Pharrell to fresh off the boat. You must have heard of my brother as well, then. A little, yes. But it is you they speak most of, Messer. That figures. Your brother is certainly welcome to join us by all means, mm. but I'll leave that in your hands. Oh, I'm going. Without this expedition, we won't last out a year. You're going awfully far out of your way just to hire another guard. We don't need another hireling. We need a partner. The truth is, Bartran's been tearing his beard out trying to fund this on his own, but he looks can't do like it. he tore your he beard the out. Expedition. 50 sovereigns and he can't refuse. Not with me there to vouch for you. Why would you stick your neck out for a complete stranger? I I'd rather take a chance on someone with your reputation than head into the deep roads unprepared. And besides, we'd be your partners. I'm willing to give a little trust if you want. Your brother doesn't seem like the sort who's willing to split profits. My brother was many things, but he is not stupid. Far better to share the profits than be trapped in a tie with a thousand dark spawn between you and the exit. Trust me, they'll come around. Ah, uh, there's not only dark spawn down there, you know, buddy. I hope there's more to this. 
Like how I'm supposed to get that much coin together. Fifty sovereigns are fifty brief. gold pieces. There's only a brief window after applying. There are sovereigns, silvers, and coppers. The treasure you find down there could set you and your family up for life. Come on. The dwarf makes some sense. No offense. Look, you started this, and it's a good idea. Certainly better than ending up in the gallows. We work together, you and I. And before you know it, you'll have all the capital you need. What do you say? Hmm. What's to stop you from taking my investment and running? You'll be traveling with the expedition, and I'll be at your side. If I cross you, you'll be the first one to know, and I'll be the last. Hmm. You're asking me to take a lot on faith. You're asking for a guarantee? I don't know that I can give you one. Look, I know the Templars have been asking questions. How terrible oh. would it be to get out of the city for a while? If this works out, Templars. you'll be wealthy enough that the Order won't be able to touch you. You need the coin, and I need your help. We need each other. I can't make it sound better than that. What makes you so certain you'll be useful to me? I know everyone in this city worth knowing. I can help you find the jobs you need, and if you don't need me for that, there's always Bianca. Bianca? Well, that's a much better name than Nira or Deborah. You named your crossbow. And why not? She's a beauty. Isn't that right, sweetheart? I trust this man absolutely and would believe he would never lie to me. You have a deal. Perfect. Kirkwell's crawling with work. You set aside some coin from every job and you'll have the money in no time. Sure. Easy. But... Maybe Aveline's got some bounties out. She joined the city guard, right? We should talk privately when you get the chance. In the hangman, maybe. I'll be there when I'm not with you. Now, let's go see what trouble we can stir up. Ah! Hi, town. Where the rich go to pit. Ah, <sighs> and there we have it. First chapters of the game. Well, this is the first chapter of the game. The Deep Roads Expedition. Your basic objective, raise 50 gold so you can convince Bartrand to make you his partner in the expedition. Varric here is Bartrand's younger brother. He'll be at your side constantly. And when I mean constantly, I mean Varric will never leave you. Ever. You can kick him around, you can make him your absolute rival, he'll never leave your side. That's why I always make him my friend. But, yes, you'll also remember Varric from the beginning. He's the one telling the story. And his crossbow is Bianca. While you can switch out others, of your party members' weapons, Bianca will actually get stronger as Varric levels up. And you won't be able to get him to use any other crossbow. Not that you'll find any other crossbow. All the other bows you find are simply bows. And those will be for Sebastian's use. Oh boy, Sebastian. But that's where I'm going to end this video for now. The prologue's over and the first year has begun. Let's see what trouble Hawk can stir up.